earliest one I have, I have two that were from when I played softball when I was in elementary school when I was a kid. So my very first elementary school that I went to is also where I worked. So I wanted some shirts that had my elementary school name in it. My first real teaching job was at Morgan Elementary, so I have some of those shirts in there as well. And I had um, the principal that hired me after I worked there two years, he passed away and we did a memorial um, library in his honor. So I have that, both parts of that shirt in there as well. That was something that was really special to me. We did mission trips that were local trips that I included. And then I have like Disciple Now and a couple of things. The mission trips that we did, they were, um, like this one was, it was a local mission trip where we went and we helped build a Habitat for Humanity House. And then another year, um, this year, we went and we like mowed yards and did house repairs and cleaned houses and just did like, different things for elderly and um, people that weren't um, mobile. In general, the people were really thankful. We had a couple of different elderly people that just cried and said, you know, they hadn't had anybody come to their home in months and they were just so happy to have somebody that they didn't even know to reach out and care enough about them to come help. I really liked this one about all made possible by teachers. So I wanted to have, you know, teaching's obviously a huge part of my life. So I wanted to, that to be in my clothes. When I lived in Kentucky, I also worked in the church nursery as a volunteer for quite a few years and then moved up to a, you know, an actual position in the nursery. So I wanted to include that. I like having the quilt because a lot of these were just, they were tucked in drawers and hanging in the back corner of my closet. So every time I use it, you know, I look at different memories and experiences and just it's just a representation of my basically my entire life well so a friend of mine when we graduated high school which was a while ago 2003 um she had somebody that made a quilt for her and i just thought it was a really cool thing a really cool piece she really loved it um and so i knew at that time it was kind of in the back of my mind like i'd like to do that eventually i don't know if i have enough shirts i want to do it with now but maybe when i'm out of school so um Fast forward to last summer, my closet collapsed. <laughs> so I decided, you know what, it's time to pull some of those shirts out of drawers so I can shift some other things over and it's time to finally make the quilt that I wanted. So I started researching online and having an individual do it is a really large cost. And then I saw another company where they just kind of throw them next to each other and stick it on some fleece. And I thought, you know, these are really special things to me. I want, to, I want it to be nicer than that. So then I found Canvas Quilt and I was I loved the that you can get the sash in between each. I think it looks so much better to have, you know, the shirts not right next to each other. And then I really liked the that you could get the quilting stitch as well. And so, you know, I laid it all out and it was just it was really cool to see. I was really pleased with it. I like how they spread the colors out and I just I love how it looks. It's perfect and I plan to have another one made very soon. So